Hello folks, my name is Tony. I'm a product specialist with Dynasys APU and today we're going to do a, a TSB for the serpentine belt and tensioner which we are replacing with a self-tensioning belt. So made by Gates, it's a special size for our unit. Uh, it replaces both the serpentine belt that runs drives the generator and then uh, the tensioner which uh, keeps the belt tight. You take off the tensioner, of course with a wrench, a 9 16 on this uh, tensioner and throw it away. Once it's gone, uh, we're going to put on the uh, Dynasys part. It's a uh, 56-9006. It's a very remarkable device. Who would ever think that no more tensioners. But anyway, uh, back to the task. Uh, some of these you'll have to uh, push the engine back a little bit to get the belt on. So you just put a, a, a little bit of a stretch there. You know, push the engine back. It doesn't take much uh, strength or anything. Just a screwdriver or something like that will work also. So basically what you do is you run the belt over the pulley, get it through the splines. Uh, on the bottom, remove one bolt from, there's three bolts holding the, uh, the hub onto the uh, dr driven pulley. You remove this bolt and what that does is make way for a zip tie to uh, run over the pulley. Now you can probably hold this on with your fingers and all that, but what happens is uh, you can chop your fingers off, so it's way better to use a zip tie to hold it. So once you get the zip tie through the bolt hole, up against the back, come around to the outside, and what you want to do is get this belt started on the pulley get it flat on that that part and then tighten the zip tie to hold it that way you don't have to hold it with your fingers rotate this around until it's basically there you can rotate this with your hand if you're strong I'm a little bit out of shape now but uh, here we go just walk that around the belt rides up on it. Once uh, that's in, cut the zip tie off. Pull out the uh, remaining, ditch that. So after you cut the zip tie, uh, you replace the bolt for the driven pulley. And you'll torque this to 85 inch pounds or seven foot pounds. Torque that up, put it back together, it's good to go. You let this run, this one's pretty tight from the get-go, and it, it's just going to remain that way. So, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Come to Dynasys APU for all your APU needs, and check the description for more info. Thanks.